When it comes to building a website in the United Kingdom, it can seem like there's a ton of things that you have to do. Whether it's getting everything set up correctly, to figuring out the terms and conditions, and a host of other settings that you need to make sure that you get right, things can seem a little bit unmanageable. Lucky for you, in this video, we're gonna be breaking down step-by-step step the exact process of building a website in the United Kingdom, as well as giving you the best steps and telling you exactly what you need to know when it comes to doing so. We'll be covering everything you need to know, from specific rules, laws, and regulations, and even all the way down to the exact way that you want to go about building the website and the software and tools that you can do so with. Make sure to watch to the very end of this video so you understand exactly how to go about doing this and you don't make any mistakes along the way. One of the first things we need to cover though is what makes building a website in the United Kingdom so specifically special and the things that you need to know about it. So the first thing you really need to be aware of is the domain that you're going to utilize for your website. Because you're in the United Kingdom, you're going to want to use something like .co or .uk. These domain extensions are specific to to the region of the United Kingdom, and it's going to make things a lot easier for things like search engine optimization. By having these domain extensions, you're going to allow people to find your website a lot easier, and of course, also allow it to pop up in any SEO searches as well. One of the major legal protection requirements that you have to look out for when you're building your website in the United Kingdom is something to do with data protection and privacy. In the UK, this is referred to as the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR for short. This is essentially a standing rule that any information that is given given to you or made available to you through users that are utilizing your website and not be resold to other organizations or distributed to people without that person's consent. Basically, internet privacy laws that basically mean you have to get somebody's consent before you can pass along their information to somebody else. One of the other important things to consider, especially if you're an e-commerce website, is to make sure to have payment gateways that are supporting specific credit card providers and just in general money providers out in the United Kingdom in the first place. This can be important for things like regional specific credit cards or specific banking and institutions that only do business inside of the United Kingdom itself. At the end of the day, building a website in the United Kingdom is not that much different than any of the other places in the world. And because of that, we can actually pretty much show you exactly how to do this. And those are really it for the key differences. So first things first, one of the main things that you want to consider when you're building a website in the United Kingdom is figuring out the exact purpose and reason behind the website. Are you going to build a portfolio site? Are you going to build an e-commerce site? Or are you just building a website for fun? These are important considerations that you need to keep in the back of your mind in order to make sure that you actually create your website with a sense of purpose. Once you figured out the actual purpose and the point of building your website, you're then actually going to be able to start building it in the first place. One of the best ways to actually start building your website is with an amazing tool like Hostinger. Hostinger is a website building slash web hosting software tool that allows you to build a website with little to no experience. I'm now going to give you a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to get started with Hostinger and how to start building your very first website. Best way to go about doing this is by hitting the link down in the description and get access to the best deal possible. Once you get that link, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. As you can see, you're going to get up to 75% off web hosting as well as a free domain in the process. Once you've looked at all of this, you then can head down to the start now button and click that to get started. Once you've clicked that, you'll then be taken to the choice page where you can pick between their premium plan, their business plan, or their cloud startup plan. Each of these plans have their own benefits, but for the sake of this video, we're going to go with the most popular plan. At the most popular plan, we're only going to be paying about $3.99 a month. This is going to save us about 71% overall plus a three free months on top of the plan that we choose. Once we've decided to go with this plan, we're then going to hit the choose plan button. After we've hit the choose plan button, it'll then take us over to the checkout page. On the checkout page, there are a few different things that you can choose from. As you can see, the first thing it will make us choose from is the check your order option, where it's basically going to say how often we'd like to make payments on this plan. We can either do it on a one month basis, a 12 month basis, or a 24 month basis, or the one that saves you the most money, the 48 month basis. For the sake of this video and to save the most amount of money, we're going to go with the 48 month option. We're going to select this and then head down here to the second step, which is creating our account. When it comes to creating our account, we can either have a Google account or create it on Facebook. We also can enter in our email address and even add our password. Once we've done that, we can then head down to the payment option where we can choose which of these couple of payment options that we want to choose to pay with. Each of these have their own benefits, but it just depends on the location and region that you're located in. Once we've done that, we'll then enter our first name, our last name, our phone number, hit our country of residence, which will be the United Kingdom. And once we've done that, we'll then enter in the region or provenance, the city, street address, and the zip code. As you can see, we're getting that plan discount at 71%, but in order to get an even better discount, make sure to follow these next steps. The first thing you want to do is hit these have a coupon code button and enter in the coupon code my first website, all capitals, no spaces. And once you've done that, you'll then hit the apply button. After you've applied the coupon, you'll then get an even better discount with about 3% added to that overall discount. Once you've done all of that, you'll then enter in your credit card details with all the information and hit 
hit submit secure payment. Once all of this is complete, you'll then be thrusted into Hostinger's website builder where you can actually start building your website. Once you're on Hostinger's website building page, you're simply going to click the button that says add website. Once you've clicked that button, you'll then be taken to this page where you can start creating with AI in seconds to actually build a beautiful, fully functioning website for your specific business, portfolio, or online store. All we simply have to do here is hit the start creating button and it will start creating a fully functioning website completely for us. As you can see, the first thing we have to do here is enter in our website type. There's a few different options to choose from here. We have a business showcase, online store, landing page, blog, portfolio, wedding invitation, or other. For the sake of this video and tutorial, we're going to go with the online store option. Once we've selected the online store option, we're then going to enter in our brand name. Our brand name can be anything, but for the sake of this video, we'll just call this our UK website. Once we've entered in this information, we'll then be asked to describe our website in a few short sentences, giving some details that the AI can create. We'll just simply say that this is our UK website and we are selling a close. Once we've entered in this, we can then add some personalization settings by hitting this drop down right here. And we can have some different colors and even have these surprise me option to make it completely randomized and totally uniquely generated. Once we've done that, we'll then hit the create a website button. And then it will take a few short minutes for the AI to actually create the website for us in the first place. Keep in mind that whatever you entered into the description box will fully output inside of Hostinger's AI editor, meaning that you definitely need to be a little bit specific on what you're trying to build. Once the AI editor has fully built out your website, you'll then be presented with a beautiful, fully functioning clothing store website or whatever type of website that you're trying to build in the first place. As you can see, it's super easy to edit this and make any changes that we need to. All we simply have to do is head up to the top right here on this edit button and click it. Once we click the edit button, we'll then simply make sure that we have a store name, which is the UK website that we talked about in the first place. Hit the continue button and then change our state or country. We're going to change this to the United Kingdom. Once we select that, the currency will then change to our home country currency, which is perfect. Once we've done all this, we'll then hit the continue option, which will then take us to this part where we can actually set up our store in the first place. As you can see, because we are building an online store, it'll ask us some things about our products or payment methods. And the simplest next thing we want to do is head up to the top right here where it says edit website and click that button. Once we've clicked that, we'll then be brought to this page where we can start editing our website completely on the fly, simply by dragging things around, dropping them in different places. We can change the position. And of course, we can edit anything else that's visible on this website by simply clicking on it or double clicking on it to change what it says. As you can see, Hostinger is incredibly user friendly. And if you want to get started with it yourself, make sure you use the link down in the description of this video to actually get started in the first place. Also, please keep in mind that the links that we use in the description are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission from each sign up. So thank you in advance for supporting this channel. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Let me know down in the comments below what you're going to do and what kind of websites you're planning on building. And also, of course, let me know if you have any questions. Make sure you use the link down in the description and get started with Hostinger and get the best deal possible when you're building your very first website. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe so you never miss any of our future videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in a future one.